welcome to this edition of Helping Hands. I'm City Council President Pro Tem Peter Herzberg. I'm here with John from D John Gochi and Associates Realty. And we're going to talk about a great program, which you might have heard about in the past, but you can get up to $15,000 in home buyer assistance if you're looking to buy a home. So welcome. It's good to be here, Peter. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, come here and educate the good people of Westland about this fantastic uh, program. And I'm sure a lot of people have heard about the Mishta Down Payment Assistance, which is available in all of Michigan. It's $7,500 to help home buyers uh, with the down payments. A lot of people have a hard time coming up with the, all the funds required to purchase a house. So you got the down payment, which is typically three to three and a half percent, depending on the type of loan one has secured. Then there's the closing cost. Uh, closing costs cover uh, prepay and the taxes, uh, insurance, uh, appraisal, a private home inspection, lender fees, and all those add up to typically around 4 to 6% of the purchase price depending on the, the taxes. And uh, this program isn't always around, so there's money in there now and it runs out. That's why you may have heard of the program before but didn't know how to get a hold of the money or where to file the paperwork. That's, and that's the biggest problem is people just not knowing about it. So let me separate the two because there's a lot of confusion. You have the Mishta Down Payment Assistance, which is a program that is funded by the state of Michigan. And recently they came out with a program that is federally funded called the Mishta Step Forward uh, Forgivable Down Payment Assistance. The regular Mishta you have to pay back when you sell your house or when you refinance. And it's available in any city, any municipality. You as a borrower still has to qualify for that program. The Mishta Step Forward program is the best thing I've ever seen in the history of real estate uh, programs. This is a federal grant. They give you $15,000 to help you purchase your first home, and it's forgivable. So every year, 20% of it goes away. So in five years, if you still own that house, you no longer have to uh, pay that loan back. It's simply a fantastic program. Yeah, it is. And I, I think this is something that uh, m r millennials should be looking at. You know, oh, they're, absolutely. they're the largest ever generation in the country and they're just not buying homes at the same rate uh, of the other uh, generations. Well, as a father of a couple of millennials, you know, they got it good at home, so there's no rush. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a great program for anybody. Uh, to qualify as a first-time home buyer means that you have not owned a primary residence in the last three years. So you could have owned a home four years ago and still be a first-time home buyer by the guidelines of this program. There are some requirements as far as income too. Uh, you can't make over $67,000 as an individual, but you can make up to $130,000 as a combined family unit. I think a lot of people fit into those criteria. This is uh, pretty easy to get. It's a uh pretty common to meet those criteria to be able to get that, a hold of this. That typically uh, is not one of the issues that people have uh, required. One of the ones that most people fail to get is meeting the minimum credit requirements, which is 640 points as your combined you know, score. So they combine all the scores and then they gotta be an average of 640 or higher. That's where a lot of people drop off. Yeah, it says here uh, just a little over $200,000 would be the maximum home purchase price. So there's a lot of homes, especially in this area, you for can one pretty to much You qualify just about 90% of the homes in Westland. $224,000 is the maximum purchase price for a home in this program. Yeah, and if, if you're renting right now, or like you said, you could have owned a home within the past few years. You could uh, have a rental property already, but... Uh, if you want to get into this program, buying a home is a really good choice. It's a long-term investment. Um, over renting, you know, you get it yourself into a home, yep. it builds that uh, sense of stability and belonging yeah. within a community. Well, absolutely. That's one of the reasons that they came up with this program. They identified certain communities that had a high uh, foreclosure rate, low ownership rate, home ownership rate, and... Uh, you know, delinquencies with the mortgage payments. So they've identified certain communities. Uh, Westland qualifies for the regular Mishta. Unfortunately, they don't qualify for the step forward, uh, but Wayne does, Garden City does, um, Belleville, Romulus, Inkster, and uh, 
Taylor, Dearborn Heights. Um, there's also uh, Allen Park, Lincoln Park, some of those areas, parts of Detroit, Southfield. There's a total of 61 zip codes that are wow. in this program. Those are high priorities where they want to encourage home ownership. Uh, for example, I can get somebody into a home cheaper than I can get them into an apartment as far as money down. The Step Forward program only requires the homeowner or borrower to only come up with 1% of their own funds. And the rest of it is that 15000 So I just sold a house to a lady in Garden City uh, for $77,000. Uh, she had to come up with $770 out of pocket, and the rest of the money was the 15000 So she got an extra $10,000 left over, which she was able to get instant equity on that house. And her payments are only $580 a month for a two-bedroom house with a detached garage, fenced yard. Where, where can you get an apartment these days in that price range? And I really implore people to just take advantage of this because it's a first come, first serve program. And it started with 20 million in October. By December, there was only 6 million left. And in January, they added another 5 million to the program. As of this moment, I called my mission approved lender and I asked, what is the tally? Right now, there's $2 million left in the program. So the money is running out. You know, the right? money is running out unless they decide to uh, get some additional funds added to it. So how does one uh, start the process if they want to look at if they're eligible? Or well, there's, you can call just about any lending institution. Uh, they may be uh, qualified for the MISHTA program. They have to be a qualified MISHTA authorized lender because they have to know right. how to work the system. So maybe your lender currently is, and if you don't have a lender you're working with, uh, the lender I work with uh, has a website where you just go in there and apply and he will call you and let you know if you qualify for the program or you can call me directly. But can I give my lender's website out where people can fill out to see if they qualify? It's uh, C-A-P-E, CAPE, like Superman's CAPE, L-J, like Lyndon Johnson. So it's C-A-P-E-L-J dot com. Uh, he's with Caliber Loans. You apply there. And he'll call you and let you know, make a note that you're applying for the Mishta Step Forward program. And he'll let you know if you qualify for it. And, uh, or you can call me directly at 734-637-1430. Or you can just go to my website, johngochi.com, and get my info. It's a really good program. So uh, anything else you can add? Well, I mean, the most important thing is if you have the 640 credit score, you don't have $10,000 in the bank. You didn't own the house in the last, you know, three years. Uh, then, you know, by God, jump all over this. There's maybe, you know, a couple of weeks left of funds for this program. So once you apply and the lender says, yes, you qualify, how you lock down the money, how you secure the money is by entering into a purchase agreement for a home that you like. So time is of the essence. You know, so you, if, if you're out there looking for a home right now, and you contact the lender to get this information about how long until that process is completed and you can... Uh, the lender can approve you within 15 minutes of you applying. Wow. You know, they're, they're quick. There's, they basically look at your credit score, they look at the information you input it, and then they determine right away. And if they have any follow-up questions, they'll call you and clarify those. Once you get approved by the lender, then you call your favorite realtor. And if you don't have one, you know, feel free to call me. And... Uh, and I'll uh, assign one of my uh, showing agents to uh, help you know, show you properties. And uh, once that's done, then we have to enter into a contract and it's gotta be accepted. And then we submit it. Uh, and then he then submits it to the MISHTA program and secures the funds. He can't secure the funds without a purchase agreement in hand. Okay. Uh, and, and don't lose hope. If this is something that you didn't get in time, you still have the regular MISHTA program, which is 7,500 in down payment assistance. The only caveat there, that one you got to pay back. It's 0% interest, but it's kind of like a loan from mom or dad. You know, when you sell the house, you got to pay the money back. Yeah, so you don't have to pay it back right away. Yeah, no. When you refinance or when you sell the house, you have to pay the regular MISHTA $7,500 loan program back. Yeah. And one of the biggest drop-off points is the credit. So the one thing I do want to add to people and let them know about it is Wayne Westland Credit Union offers a secured credit card. So if you don't have the credit to get a credit card, 
you can go to Wayne Westland Credit Union, give them $300, and, and, and tell Thelma John Gochi sent you, she'll take care of you, and get a secured credit card for $300. Uh, and then start using that to buy your gas or whatever. But don't use over 30% of it. If it's $300, only spend about $100 of it and pay it off every month. Because if you start going above to your full limit, then the credit bureau's algorithm determines you're using credit to get by. So you got to know the little tricks and how their algorithm works. So if you stay and keep your balances under 30%, your score will go up tremendously. And the, the lender I got actually does that with people that were, somebody was at 630. They were 10 points off, so the lender played uh, with the credit and said, okay, you got a credit card you owe $800 on, which is at 70% of your limit, pay that down to below 30% and your score will go up 10 points. And sure enough, it went up 13 points, and then I was able to get him a house, and yeah. it worked out great. <laughs> yeah, this program is great for anybody. I mean, even if you're not looking for a home, you know, if you've got student debt or no savings or a lot, something sold in your back, you should really look into this program. Yeah. Uh, not buying a home is well worth it. Spread out, have more space, get out of the cycle of renting. Yeah. And uh, this, this might be able to change your mind if uh, you qualify. Absolutely. Not only would it, would it help the individual, but it's the biggest thing to help a community. Because when you have people there that are renters, you know, they're not going to invest money in improving the landscaping on the house because it's, you know, it's somebody else's property. But when they own the property, they become stakeholders in the community. Right. They start, you know, f you know, doing some nice upgrades to the landscaping and, you know, slowly a upgrading the house. And, well, absolutely. So uh, you, you, you generally you want to help as a community, you want to help get people in homes where they can be stakeholders in it. Okay. And if you're looking for more information on that, you can go to www.mishdownpayment.com. There's more information there. You can get a hold of John Absolutely. and uh, the other phone numbers and websites that we're giving out. Awesome. Uh, well, again, you know, I appreciate your time. I hope uh, people take advantage of this opportunity. It's uh, unfortunate this is a nonprofit. Mish is a nonprofit organization. They don't have the money to market these programs, so I feel it's my duty to make sure at least my sphere of influence and my community, Westland, is aware about it. And uh, if there's somebody out there that can take advantage of it, there's no better feeling in the world than put a roof over a family's head. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, thanks for coming on, and thanks for sharing the information on this uh, great program. Thanks, man. Appreciate your time. Thanks.